when you rely on the values that you learned here at Benedictine College, then you can do anything. Anything is possible with God. Don't lose faith in that. Stay, stay true to who you are and chase your dreams. Thank you very much and best of luck to all of you. This is a great day for all of you. You can now proudly say that you're an alumnus or an alumna of Benedictine College and follow in the footsteps of graduates of Benedictine who came before you, including graduates of our founding institutions, Mount St. Scholastica College and St. Benedict's College. Soon your names will be read and you will walk across the stage. You will join a long line of distinguished alumni of the college. You will be part of the rich tradition, just like Joseph O'Donohue and William O'Neill the first two students from your alma mater back in 1858. As you travel this windy, uncertain, and sometimes treacherous road, I have one very important piece of advice. Don't lose touch with your Benedictine family. Don't forget the people you bonded with and shared shoes with, both literally and figuratively. Although your Benedictine bubble will not be there to protect you any longer, the experience you have gained will guide you on the journey ahead. The people surrounding you in this beautiful place will be your greatest comfort in the hard times that lie ahead. They will pick you up when you stumble and fall. This family is forever. The years I spent at Benedictine and the memories I have will stay with me forever. From the scorching heat on move-in day to finals being snowed out our freshman year, to my mother sticking her head out of the window of our car, yelling at our president, yo, yo, P. Minnie, what's up? <laughs> Sorry about that, President Minnis. This is Glenn. P. Minnie says yo, right? <laughs> on behalf of the faculty, administration, and board of directors, I hereby confer this honorary doctorate of humane letters on Sam Brownback, Governor of Kansas. Life. Life is relational. We form our minds going to school, and you can pull that out of books and a lot of different places. But if you want to form the heart, the soul that you have, it's relational. It's a relationship with God and it's a relationship with others, period. Before we move on to the conferring of degrees, there are two members of the class of 2011 who are not here today. John Paul Forget from Wildwood, Missouri, and Sherry A. Mank from Platte City, Missouri. They both passed away while students here. Both left huge impressions on this college and their fellow classmates during their short time with us, and they remain in our hearts and memories and will forever be Benedictine College Ravens. The college, as well as their classmates, would like to recognize these two on what would have been their commencement day. John Paul's parents were unable to attend today's ceremony, so his sister Megan Louise will accept John Paul's memorial diploma on behalf of the family. Megan Louise, would you please come forward? Sherry's parents are here today, so would Sherry's parents, Steve and Jackie Mank, please come forward to accept Sherry's memorial diploma. Thank you. 